Hi, this is Sudeep and I welcome you back to this wonderful series of learning structure analysis with Start Pro. We have covered significant ground in this series. We had been working in the analytical modeling category and we have discussed about modeling of geometry, modeling of properties, modeling of materials. And yes, we have not discussed about the specifications modeling and the corresponding features of it will be discussed as required along the course. We have then discussed about the modeling of supports where we had discussed about the modeling of fixed pin and roller support. And finally, in the last couple of episodes, we had been discussing about the modeling of loading and we had been discussing the concentrated or point load and the uniformly distributed load. You would need to work sequentially from left to right, from the modeling of geometry to the modeling of loads. Now, once the modeling is complete, we would need to analyze the structure and thus our topic of discussion will be about analysis today. But before we go forward, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel and join us in this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with StatPro. We will use the perform analysis command to analyze the structure. Now, before we go ahead, it would be prudent to know about the assumption and limitations related to the perform analysis command. Now, perform analysis command invokes a method of analysis called the small displacement elastic analysis. And thus, this method is valid only when the material of the structure is within its elastic limits and thus stress would be proportional to strain and the displacements are small. If these conditions are not met, the structure would need a different form of analysis. If you are an advanced student or if you are a practicing engineer, you can refer to the discussion related to perform analysis that I had posted a couple of months back, the link of which would be appearing on the screen right now. So this is the model of the beam that we had been working on in the last session. One end of the beam was pinned and the other end was having a roller support and we had defined uh, the loads where the first load case related to a uniformly distributed loads of 5 kN per meter that was applied on the full span on the beam and the second load case involved a loading of 5 kN per meter, but that was applied only partially on the span of the beam. Now, we have defined the geometry, we have defined the materials, we have defined the supports, and we have defined the loading. Now we are ready to go and analyze the structure. So how do we do that? We now go and click on the analysis tab here. So as soon as we click on the analysis tab, the analysis whole structure box appears on the screen. Now we would go to the define commands button and we can see that there are several types of analysis that is available in Start Pro. However, by default perform analysis command is activated. So we would want to add this to our analysis whole structure box and that is it. Now let us go into the text editor and see what command has been added in the text file. So click on the command file editor, click on the save button and we will see that a perform analysis command has been added on the screen here. So even in the text format, you'd see that we have first defined the geometry by joint coordinates member incidences. We had defined the materials. We had defined the sections. We had defined the loads. And now we have specified the perform analysis command. Now we are ready to analyze the structure. So we close the text editor, get out of it. And now we can go to the analysis and design option from the top menu 
and hit the run analysis from the various ribbon options that are available or you can press control 5 to invoke the analysis so let us click on run analysis and you would see that the stat analysis and design screen comes up now there are several steps that takes place while stat is analyzing the structure uh, we are not yet ripe to discuss this right now but this is something that we would discuss when we will discuss about the advanced analysis methods and where we would discuss about the direct stiffness method of analysis but now let us only know that stat has analyzed this particular structure now once the analysis is complete we can go to the post processing mode by clicking here and activating this radio bit button called go to the post processing mode or what we can do is we can press the stay in the modeling mode option click on the done button and go to the post processing option from the left workflow menus so if we click on the post processing from here it asks us to select the load cases for which we want the want the results of now what is this post processing option or what is this post processing mode post processing mode is that mode where you will have all your analysis results available now this mode will not be active unless you have run your analysis so let us select both the load cases because we would need the results of both the load cases we click on apply and we click on ok and we can see that there are several results like the displacement results the reaction results the beam results where you'll get the bending moments and shear force of the beams however at this point we won't be discussing about the details of the results except for two things firstly it is easy for a simple structure like this for an engineer to understand whether the structure is stable or unstable but for very complicated structures it might not be easy to predict by seeing the geometry itself if the structure has the stability requirements satisfied so the first thing that we would need to check immediately after the analysis done analysis is done is whether the stability requirements has been satisfied so for that you need to go to the reactions button here so click on the reactions and you would see a statics check results right here now let us expand that screen and you will see that for load case 1 and load case 2 stat pro has calculated the total applied load and the total reactive load and the difference between the loads is zero similarly the difference in load case 2 is also zero so that means that the applied loads and the reactive loads are equal and opposite which means that the equilibrium conditions are satisfied if you find that there is a significant difference to be considered between the applied loads and reactive loads that would mean that the equilibrium condition is not satisfied and we should not refer to the results from the analysis that has given this results so for that we would need to go back to the preprocessor or the modeling mode and make changes or correction in our structure to make it structurally sta stable now the other thing that we also would like to see is the displacement results so we have to go to the node displacements and check the node displacement summary and you can see it gives the maximum and the minimum values in the x y z direction and the rotational x y and z direction we can see that the displacements are very small now this is, was the first requirement of doing a perform analysis command that the displacements should be small but if we see that the displacements are beyond tolerable limits it would mean that the perform analysis is not suitable for this type of analysis and we would need to go back to the post processor mode 
and make changes to the analysis method. This might also mean that the structure is inherently instable that, and that is why you, would, you are getting some significant deflection values. So you need to check that in conjunction with the equilibrium check or the statics check results that I have just discussed. So if you have enjoyed the session today, please do hit the like button and help me reach out to the students who would be looking out for similar contents. I hope to see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye.